Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap in today's video I am going to teach you how you can implement sign in with Google in your react.js application so if I will click on this button user will see his available Google accounts then he will select the account and then he will click on continue we will receive this information inside our JavaScript and then you can use this information in your project to log in the Google uh, to log in the user so without any delay let's start <laughs> First of all, open the Google and search cloud.console.google.com and open the first website. You will see this dashboard. You will see here your project is created. Then click on select project. You can also select this project by clicking here and your project name. Then search here OAuth, OAuth consent screen. You need to search here and you will see this option. Click on it. From here, select external and then click on create from here give your app name like fine gap authentication give a user support email and scroll down and last give a developer email i am going to write the same email after providing these three things click on save and continue button in the bottom then you need to define scopes scope means which information google should provide to you i will simply click on add or remove scopes and select user info and user info profile then click on update and then scroll down and click on save and continue here you need to add test users test users means only these users will able to use google sign in because in production means in production mode you need to authenticate your app from google so i will add a test user and i'm going to type here an email you can serve at the rate of gmail.com i will press add you can also add more emails here and then click save and continue in the last screen this is just a summary the information that you have provided yet click on back to dashboard then click on credentials and click on create credentials from here select OAuth client ID I will select application type web application I will name this fine gap web client and next we need to add a URI because I am going to test this on my local host so I will provide my local URL which may be look like this and then I will click on create make sure to copy the client ID and client secret in a separate file of your computer I have copied them both and next just click on ok I have set up a react.js project using Vite and open my app.jsx file next again Google open the Google and search here for react OAuth Google make sure to open npm.js website from here click on copy this command to install this package on your react website I will open terminal and paste this command here and press enter and then scroll down first of all you have to wrap up your application with Google auth provider like I am doing inside this you will type your login elements like basically you have to wrap your application using Google auth provider and then simply I will copy this paste here Google login and I'm going to copy this Google login component and paste here on success we will receive the login email information inside this parameter in case user failed this function will be called now let me run the application so I can show you the output okay you can see that I have this sign in button here first of all I will open the console and clear this now I will click on sign in with Google you can see that the Google screen is opening it is giving me this error don't worry here we need to provide provide the client ID so I will paste that client ID here I hope you also copied this client ID before when we were creating our account our project on Google Cloud again I will refresh and click on sign with Google you can see that it is asking me to choose the accounts I will choose my this Google account then I will click on continue if you can see that it have provided me an object let me copy this object and open type here JWT decode open their website name jwt.io I'm going to paste that object here on the right side you can see that we have decoded our data we have name of our Google profile our picture URL that you can copy and paste on your browser and see Google is providing us users picture and other information like his email his family name and given name but we want this decoding from our application what I will do I will type here JWT decode the second website is npm.js so you need to install this package simply you can type this command npm i jwt decode open your terminal first of all I will close this application and type this command and press enter next scroll down 
you need to import this and then simply this is how you can decode your data i will copy this credentials paste here and paste here like this decoded credentials now again let me run my application npm run dev you can see that i have write this code to decode this and imported this from jwt decode and then i will click on sign in with google and then again i will select my email click on continue you can see that the object data is decoded and you can easily access this data in your javascript in the last i will just make this button in the center of our screen okay friends you can see that so i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching